Don't forget to check your answers carefully when solving log equations. So let's solve 2 log of 3 minus x is equal to log of x plus 3. So first, we can use our log laws to bring this 2 up here as a power. So this would be log of 3 minus x squared equals log of x plus 3 because of our power log law. So now I have a one log equal to another log, which means that the things inside each of these logs must be equal to each other. So that just means that 3 minus x squared is equal to x plus 3. And now if I expand this left-hand bracket, I get 9 minus 6x plus x squared is equal to x plus 3. And if I rearrange, I get x squared minus 7x plus 6 is equal to 0. So now let's solve this quadratic equation by factorizing. So what multiplies to give minus 7 and adds to give 6, well that's x minus 6 and x minus 1 is equal to 0. So this means that x is equal to 6 or 1. Now this is where people make a common mistake. They just say these are both your answers and call it a day. But you need to check if these answers work in the original equation up here. So if x is equal to 6, you have log of 3 minus 6, which is log of negative 3. And this is undefined. You're not allowed to have negative numbers in a log because the value in a log should be greater than 0. So x equals 6 is not a solution. But if we put in 1, 3 minus 1 is equal to 2, and 1 plus 3 is equal to 4, so 1 is a solution. Therefore, the only solution to this equation is x equals 1. And that's it.